Okay, this is problem two on the practice final. It's another question about limits, but less theoretical questions about actually figuring out a limit. Um, so remember we used to use basically algebraic tricks to do limits in the beginning of the semester. We would find a factor that these two polynomials have in common, which you can see is probably like positive two, right? The top has a factor of pos x minus two, the bottom has a factor of x minus two. You can divide it out, cancel it, and then plug in two to get the answer. Why can't you plug in 2 right off the bat? It's because if you do, you get 0 on top and 0 on the bottom. So 0 over 0 is undefined. But since the beginning of the semester, we've become a little bit more educated. And we now know L'Hopital's rule, which applies in exactly the situation where you have a limit of the form 0 over 0. So L'Hopital's rule says that I can just take the derivative of top and bottom. I have the limit as t goes to 2 of what's the derivative of the top? Why it's 2t. And what's the derivative of the bottom? It's 3t squared. Um, we could of course cancel a t at this point, but we don't even have to because we're now able to just plug in 2. What happens if I plug in 2? I get 4 on top and 12 on the bottom, and so the answer is 1 third. Okay, great. Done. Now, this next one, part B, looks kind of hairy, but it's the same story. What happens if you plug in 3? I'll leave it to you to figure out that you get 0 over 0. So I can use L'Hopital's rule, and I shall. So what happens when you use L'Hopital's rule? The derivative on top is 1 half x plus 6 to the minus 1 half minus 1. And this is divided by... 3x squared minus 6x. Okay, and now probably I can just plug in 3. Let's see what happens if, if, when I do. Um, so it, I'll leave it to you to figure out that when I plug 3 in here, this part on the top begin, becomes 1 over 18. Uh, it's going to be like 1 over the square root of 9, right? So it's going to be 1 sixth minus 1. And when I plug in 3 down here, I'm going to get 12 minus 18. And this is a number, and this part is so boring, I don't even, I mean, it's not going to change the world what number that turns out to be, right? But here I'm just ciphering it out. Uh, so you get minus, that's 5 over 6 on top. I'm going to write it better. Uh, that's what this becomes. And then on the bottom of that, you've got negative 3. No, sorry, it's negative 6. Come on, dumb thing. Negative 6. And, uh, great. So the final answer is positive 5 over 36. That's the answer. 5 over 36. Now, C actually, it might not be just one step. Possibly a multi-step problem here, but it's also L'Hopital's rule. Now it's a limit of a different form. Instead of 0 over 0, this is a limit of the form infinity over infinity still in determinant, still something that you can use L'Hopital's rule for. So for part C, let's use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so this is equal by L'Hopital's rule to the limit as x goes to infinity of, I have 2 times natural log x, and there's a 1 over x that pops out, right? And on the bottom, I just get 1. Great, okay, so 1. Now let me rewrite all that. That is the same thing as the limit as x goes to infinity of 2x, or sorry, 2 times natural log of x over x. Now I have a limit to the form infinity over infinity. Hit it again with the rule of the Marquis de L'Hopital. And what happens? L'Hopital's rule. The limit is x goes to infinity. And on top I get 2 times 1 over x. And on the bottom it just dies. Okay. So this is what it is. And what is that? That is 0. Great. So from that there's an important lesson to be learned. And if you learn it, you can tell what the answer to questions like this are at a glance. Um, Basically, raising natural log to a power is still not going to make it grow fast enough 
to meet or beat the rate at which um, even a degree one polynomial grows. So as a rule of thumb, natural log grows slower than any polynomial. With a, Yeah, okay, that's true. And not only that, but natural log to any fixed power is going to grow slower than any polynomial. And uh, great. So the fact that it grows slower means that the bottom gets big and the top stays relatively small, which is why the limit is zero. That's the end of the question. See you in the next question.